Welcome to Samsara Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play a demo of a game called Tenderfoot Tactics The Forever Land. So I'm quite excited for this one. In this one you're going to be a goblin, and we're going to try to do our best to survive in this rough world. So let's see if we can do it. Let us begin. This is the spirit talking to this goblin, I love that. Rutabaga. Far away from the Amt Archipelago, past the outer islands, past the great sea, past the boundaries of now and even of then, where a world touches the fae, there is a place called the Foreverlands. You know the fog on the mainland, how it's like one huge spirit? In the Foreverlands is as if that fog has grown and grown and eaten the whole mainland, eaten the outer islands, eaten even the great sea, and now all that's left is the fog and broken cloud of being. Only sometimes, through some accident of noise and chaos, a clump of cloud loses its ties to the greater body, and sometimes, if it comes arranged just right, a spirit is born. Such spirits are often cruel or mindless, but once upon a time, a curious, kind hundred spirit was born. You see, spirits aren't like you, goblins, having to hatch from an egg and grow up slow and crude. <laughs> the spirit is very insulting. Like, leave us goblins alone, we're nice people. Spirits are born whole with names, thought, intention, power, and if they're lucky, even memories. What is a memory? And this spirit, well, they didn't remember much, at least not clearly, but they knew their world was wrong somehow, and they felt a sort of intuition guiding them towards how they might fix it. Alright, so we're gonna start this off with some naming. So first up, we have Celtic. Now, if you don't speak Goblin, that's our name. If you don't speak Goblin, Celtic actually means Celtic. And uh, it's because Celtic is an engineer, like a goblin engineer. But when the spirit came, was like, yeah, I, I want to help out people. I mean, that seems like a good thing to do. So at the beginning, all of our people are archers, but you can change them. So we don't have any skill points to teach them new things, but we can make them forget whatever skill they learn and change it to something else. So Celtic, because he's our engineer, he's going to, instead of doing something as boring as uh, shooting and arrows with a bow, he's going to be throwing grenades because he can make them. <laughs> no, he's an engineer, he knows how to make grenades, it's fine, all right? So he's gonna throw grenades at our enemies, so yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Next up, we have, who's next? Dexter, who is actually Xemex. Now, because Xemex was my first patron, because he's first, I've decided that he likes to be first in everything, and therefore he's going to be my melee fighter, he goes up close and kills all the enemies. Now, as for his abilities, I'm a, he starts off as an archer, but I'm going to actually make him forget that I'm going to give him strangling, which does the same damage as um, shortbow, which so it doesn't seem that cool, but does double damage from behind. So if he could position him properly behind an enemy, he could do some really nice damage. We'll do that. Let's go. And finally, there's me, obviously. I shall name myself properly. Do Sandstra. And I am going to be, I'm going to start off as an archer. Later on, I'm probably going to be a little bit of a healer, maybe more of an archer. We'll see. We'll see what kind of options we have. There's also evolving, which I'll show you a little bit later, where you can essentially evolve to a certain class, which gives you completely different abilities. So in the beginning, we have like a bow and arrow, like shooting. Then we have the strangle, and we have some healing abilities, like and the grenades, like songs and other healing. I'll talk to you more about a little bit after the first combat. But uh, later on when you get like different classes, you have a lot of different abilities that can be quite useful. Now, you might see we have these little dots here. Like these are yellow. There's one red over here. That is like combat that you can encounter and how difficult they are. So we're going to go over here. We have two goblins, so it's like medium difficulty and we're going to go and we're going to fight them. So we get, we get this pretty interesting uh, combat area. You're only going to fight with in this combat. You can always run away, but if you run away, you do not get XP. So we definitely don't want to do that. And you can choose to move your people in in any order we desire. So we're going to start off with Xamex and move him. Ideally not close enough so they can hit us. So I think we'll just, I think we might just stay behind here. Like on the first level, that seems to be like the safest. So they won't be able to hit me, but they will be able to move close so we can then hit them. Yeah, so they're gonna come like so. Oh, I don't actually know if we can get behind them with Xamax. I'd really like to. Can you move? Oh, we can only move next to, not behind. That's a bit unfortunate, but I guess we'll move this way and we'll use the strangling because that's the only thing we can do. We're not gonna get double damage, however, because we're next to them, not behind them, which is not great. 70 damage would be nice, but it's over. Now, 
Uh, we cannot do anything else, so we're just gonna face him. And I think we hit him from the side, so I don't know if it said unnerve, but essentially if you hit a guy from the side like so, you're gonna move his turn order below, so he's gonna go a little bit later, which can be a quite nice benefit, so we're gonna shoot at that guy. So you can see that Xemex will go again before this guy goes, so Xemex can definitely kill him, which is quite nice. Now, as for me... Oh, I, I've already done my turn, so I could move... I don't really need to move anywhere, I'm just gonna... Okay, I'll, I'll move behind Xenex. And then Celtic, he can throw his grenade. Like so. And he can actually kill kill the enemy, which is fantastic. And then Xenex will not go before this guy, but that's okay. So, so I'll throw the grenade and hit them both up, which is perfect. That guy's just dead. Okay, the other guy ran away because he's like, Oh my god, they're throwing grenades! I need to go, I need to go right now. Oh, sorry, I just uh, did something with the volume to make sure that I don't speak too loud. Hopefully it will work out. Alright, so we've gotten some of We've gotten Crystal Gyroscopy, which, we'll check out what it does. A series of fine crystal rings suspended in a dazzling sequence. Adventurers once visited from across the Great Sea to barter gyroscopes and boast of their home. We know and few others chase pretty stories back across the Great Sea. Alright, well we can equip it, I'm not quite sure what it does for us, doesn't seem like it really does much of anything, but we're gonna I'm gonna take it to myself because I'm the leader. So I get all the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we're now a level 2 scout. Once we get to level 3, we can then evolve, and you can see there are a lot of different things that we could eventually evolve into. Right now our options are going to be here an archer or a knight. For both of these you need a level 3 scout, it can be just a level 2, so we can't do that just yet. But we can train. So I know the short bow. Now I can either learn the short bow even better and do 40 damage instead of 35, or I can learn first aid, heal 55 health, which is quite a bit. Unfortunately, there's only range of range of one, so I need to be right next to somebody else. I could also learn um, strangling. We are not going to do that. I could also learn song. This is like a square shape around you, and it heals me and everybody else around for 30. It also heals enemies, so something to watch out for. Or I could teach myself to throw grenades as well. Now I think we're gonna need some healing on somebody, but I do like the idea of having another person who can throw grenades because it can work. So I'm gonna go for grenades myself. I'm gonna grab grenades and the bow. I'm gonna move on. Uh, Celtic is going to learn grenades. I'm gonna teach him just to do grenades better. Seems like a good thing to do. And Xemex. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna give him. We're gonna give him strangling a little bit better. So you know what? We're gonna go back to to me, and I'm gonna unlearn grenades. Instead, I'm gonna learn song so I can heal everybody up. And we're gonna have. So I'm gonna be archer healer. Celtic is is double on grenades, and Xemex is double on strangling because we're gonna we're gonna destroy them. All right, now we gotta pick where to go. So we, we want to be a little bit careful with these chairs and really look at these options, see how many enemies are we going to fight. Okay, these are three. Okay, this is great. So let's go. Let's go fight. Three should be easy. They don't even seem to have like a bow and arrow, so we should be able to hit them quite nicely. Either way, I'm just going to go into the first position just to make sure you don't want to get too close. Now let them run to you, you know, like relax, take it easy. Okay, we can move them. Okay, they're moving. They don't have a... Okay, this guy's gonna straight up hit me in the face. Is that me? I think that was me. <laughs> it's okay, we can take it. Alright, we'll start this off with Salty. Could you throw a grenade at these two? Throw a grenade at these two. And unnerve the one on the left. That seems like... A, alternatively, I could try to hit these guys, but... Xemex might be able to get behind this one. Maybe and hit them up. So, so let's just unearth these two. We'll see how that will go. You hit them up, lower the thing. Now, Xemex, can you get behind him? You can't get behind him. Come on. It's like, I can never get him in behind them. It's slightly unfortunate. Okay, no, that's still Celtic. Okay, so Celtic, uh, stay in position. I don't think you need to move. So just wait. Alright, Xemex, you need to get so you can get behind them. 40. Well, still, I can do 40 damage, so I can kill one of these two. So let's move over here and kill that guy. Just strangle him like so. 
perfect. And we need to face the other guys because he's most definitely gonna hit Xemex. In the meantime, I could use a song. I don't need a song. I can use a shorter bow on this guy or on that guy over there. I think we're gonna try to move like so. So I can unnerve him and make him go a little bit later. Let's unnerve this guy. Go. We'll see how that will go. Alright, so now I cannot do anything else. I'm just gonna face this way. That guy goes and then one of mine goes. Yeah, Salty goes next. Salty, could you try grenading them both? You could, but you would hurt Xemex in the process, which is a problem because the enemy goes next. Actually, they won't because I will unnerf them both. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize to my melee warrior. It's gonna take unnecessary damage. But it should be fine. We're unnerving them both, so it should be okay. Okay, so Xemex can now uh, go. Actually, Samstar will now go. Which is fine. I'm also gonna move Celtic next to um, next to Xemex because we need to protect Xemex as much as we can. Okay, now I'm going. I could kill this one. But I kinda need to kill the other one. So I'm gonna move myself over here. Again, just to try to protect Xemex. And we're gonna short bow this guy. Okay, and that guy ran away. Okay, that does easy. We're almost ready for level 3, but not quite there yet. Alright, we're gonna do another part. We got another crystal gyroscope. Alright. Oh, please don't hurt me, great spirit. Where am I? What do, why do I ache? Seems like just a moment ago I was home, talking to lions out to wash. What the fuck? Oh. This is a terrible place and you seem like a kind spirit. Will you take me with you? Yeah, don't worry. We'll take you with us. So we've got a new person. We got... Artemis. Now, unfortunately, she's not really good at anything. I'm just gonna keep her with the short bow, I think. Because, like, she seems like an archer kind of girl. It's gonna be alright. Everybody else, we have no points on nothing. Right? I'm kind of sad that those guys ran away before we managed to kill them. So, it seems like this one is kind of, like, the easiest. So, let's go over here and fight that. We have three. Yeah, there's four of us against three of theirs. So that should be alright. Again, we heal up before at the end of uh, the next combat, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's we'll start off with Celtic. I'm just gonna move everybody to the first position, as I always do, because it seems like a safe place to... Femex next to him. I'm gonna go next to them as well. And we're just gonna go in a line. You know, Artemis is just like... You know what? No, we're gonna move Artemis ne next to Celt Celtic. Alright, let, let them come to me. Some is usually is probably not going to be able to get behind them, which is a little sad, but it's going to be alright. Alright, uh, Selfie, could you throw a grenade like so? Yes, you can. That's fantastic. And stay in position. I don't think I want you to move. Uh, so you're going to need to move. Just go in front of him, I guess, and just like try to strangle him like so. Oh yeah, you can straight up kill him? Perfect. One. Oh, they're already running? Like, come on, we barely fought. It's just like, no! It's just like, when they saw Xemex stand up and use his hands, like, you know, even though he has a bow and a, um, arrows, he's just like, no, I'm just gonna use my hands. <laughs> also, I'm really sorry, Xemex, if you don't like the descriptions of violence, because <laughs> I'm going all in with you being a melee warrior. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, let's train up our people. We're gonna make uh, Xemex and... well, not, not here, sorry. So so you could use the points here to make him really, really good with grenades. Uh, the problem with that is if I want to level him up or evolve him into being a warrior, he's gonna lose all of this anyways. So instead, I'm going to evolve him. Do you want to evolve him? Because I do like him being the grenade kind of... Uh, not the grenade, the, the... Yeah, we're gonna evolve him. He's going to be the knight, all right? <laughs> a common sturdy breed, good for blocking narrow passages, natural leaders whose words inspire and demoralize. All right, let's go. He's now going to become a knight. Now, unfortunately, that means I cannot really train him in anything good. He starts off with this attack, deals 40 damage, breaks destructible objects. I could make him forget that and give him something else. So let's just go through the options. Praise, heal 15 health, promotes targets in turn order by 3. So this is pretty cool because, for example, we could get, use this with Celtic and get him to go again with his grenade, which could be very, very powerful. Alternatively, insult lets the enemy go later. Pretty cool as well. Sweeping blow. 
30 damage cross effect shape or flex. Flex just heals and grows plants. Ooh, I do kind of like the sweeping blow. This does 40 damage. Well, let's let's unlearn attack and go for sweeping blow. All right, so so that's done. So Xamax is done. Then we'll go with me. Uh, do I want to be an archer? Like Artemis cannot do anything, can she? Right, she can't do anything. So Artemis, she's going to learn what I was doing. So she's gonna be the healing kind of girl and the archer kind of girl. Oh, all right, that's fine. And then I am going to evolve myself into an archer because that is required apparently. I'm gonna become an archer like so. Hello. Look at me. I'm now so strong with my boy now. <laughs> And we have our options. We can do regular attacks or we can do salvo. Deals 25 damage in a cross effect shape or lands. So deals 40 damage in a line effect shape. I think we want to go for the line because Xemex can only do the cross effect, so I'm going to do, do the line. It's going to be fun. And Celtic, I think he's just going to stay the engineer and I'm just going to teach him even more grenades. Alternatively, I could, I could teach him healing, but 45 damage when a grenade seems really good. Or do I teach him healing? We do need some... Actually, actually, our girl can heal. Artemis can heal, right? So we're just going to go all in on grenades. He's just going to be like... He's our grenade person. Uh, there's a pretty easy fight over there. What else? Oh, an easy fight over here. Also, I do have the equipment. I should equip it. I have rough and round stone. Uncommonly round, but otherwise unremarkable. Might be some hoarder would find value in it. So let's equip that. Let's give that to Celtic. You can get both the gyroscope and the stone. We're probably giving the stun to Xemex because that would have been better with our narrative, but too late. Alright, Celtic. Ooh, that is a lot of them. Is that four or five? Or three with some sort of armor? Nah, yeah, let's go for these guys. We're gonna be brave. Five of them, though. There's four of us, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but it still seems like a lot. It's gonna be great for grenades. Now I kind of wish that I, I taught Artemis grenades instead of anything else. You know what, we gotta make sure Xemex goes kinda last, so we can step- oh, actually, no, no, he's gonna go first. Let's step, mm, like, so. Okay. Then we'll grab Celtic, you go like that. Then me, I will go like so. And Artemis is just gonna go next to Xemex. He's like, I am not scared, I need protection or something. She's new, okay? She doesn't know how to fight. She was worrying about how to, you know, clean up her clothes, wash it, and suddenly was teleported into combat. She was like, I don't know anything. It's just like, ah, leave me alone. Like, we got you, girl. Don't worry about it. As usual, looks like Xemex gonna get behind her. This makes me really sad. Like, I wanna, I wanna hit them from behind. I'm thinking about moving Xemex over here, hitting that guy, because Salty can go at these guys with grenades, so let's do that. Oh, actually, right, you can do strangling anymore. You do a sweeping blow. All right, I'll do it like so. All right, we're gonna face him. Salty, you need to move... Wait, your grenade goes... One in front. So I need to stand here, then I can do it over there and hit them all. So we're gonna move to here. We're gonna take a hit over here, but I think we can handle it. And throw a grenade like that. Oh, that's a great damage on everybody. Do it. Do it. That's fantastic. That is like our best warrior. I can shoot in this weird line. Oh, like that. Oh, so I can actually shoot shoot like a in like a line, but also in like a line. Uh, you know, like I'm not actually on the line, so it's just kind of the arrow's gonna kind of turn a little bit and then hit them up. Let's kill them both. I think that's and, and there's no debate. We just gotta kill them both. Like, why would we think about anything else? Just like bam, it. That was great. Stop running, I want to kill you. Keep running away, I can't level up my people. Ooh, Xemex a knight level two. Fantastic. Okay, so so we need less XP than Salty. That's why Salty is still a scout level three, but we have leveled up in our thing. We got a flat white stone. I don't know what that's good for, but let's read about it. Perfect skipping stone. Okay, I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Xemex. He deserves some. Get a case. Alright, we can train him up for something better. So we have given the sweeping blow. Flex is healing for and growing. I don't really know, like, why would you want to grow plants? 
Unearth effect reduced by one, so it cannot be unearthed. That's not bad. Insult, praise. I don't think we probably don't want to waste Xemex's turn by like healing people or getting someone else to go down. Just want to focus on combat. So we could do sweeping blow and then slam, which the only difference is it lowers the earth, does slightly bit higher damage. That's it, I, I guess. Doesn't seem like that great of an upgrade, honestly, but it's okay. As for me, do we want to take the Salva? So then, because Salva does 3 to 5 damage, so we could have two alternative ways to either hit in a line or in a cross effect shape, whichever one's better for us. So I think we'll take the Salva, we can kind of like do whichever. Artemis is not good enough to get my skill point, and Celtic, and either. So we'll just, let's do some of them. Let's go over here, that seems like a good combat right there. Wait, was there, uh, there's a combat here. We've got an archer, but just one. So we're gonna have to try. The archer's probably gonna hit us on the first turn because I don't think we can hide from him. That's gonna be a little interesting, but we should be alright. Let's step. Celtic should probably go in the middle because he's gonna need the grenade. Uh, Xemex as well, I think, because he's gonna need to move in good position. I can sort of hide myself over here. I think I don't need to be all that close. And Artem is gonna go next to me. We gotta protect her at all costs. I, I think I'm gonna turn her into a healer eventually. Like, I don't, I don't want to have like a just dedicated healer. I want her to have some attacks. So I'll probably give her the grenade with the attacks because the grenade is really the best thing. All right, um, Salty. She throw a grenade. I could move you close and then throw grenades at all three of them. So we're gonna do that. Move like so. Right? Can you can you do that now? Throw a grenade. Oh, that was a bad move. I thought I could hit them over there. Yeah, I can. Okay, do it. Great, do it. Now, Xemex could probably finally get behind them, but it doesn't matter anymore because it's not what he does anymore. I could move you... Whew, there, I guess. Could you do a sweeping blow? I don't want you to hit my own person. Oh yeah, I can do a slam like that. It's like a, it's like an L shape. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, just face forward. I can do a salvo over here. Oh, I could do a salvo on those guys if I could get. I'm thinking maybe if I step. Let's try to go over here. See if we can do the salvo. Yes, I can. Can unnerve them though. So I think the best choice is just to go at them. They will have a turn, which is a bit unfortunate. Unless, could you... She could shoot at them, but then she's gonna be in the line of fire. Which is fine, because only two of them can attack her at the same time, which she should be able to survive. She's like, and I'm the new girl, why do I have to go fight? Because I said so. Alright, we're gonna unnerve him and kill him. She'll get hit twice, or not. Alright, Artemis, could you level up, please? You can level up. Very, very nice. Light Vines on Worn Silver Pendant. Maybe the pendant is going to give us something. Let's check it out. A flat stone, I'm just going to give it to... Artemis can have all the stones. Pendant. Ooh, plus one power, plus one health. Plus one power. Does that mean I do one extra damage? We should probably give it... Does it count for the grenades? Because Celtic does the most damage, despite the fact that he's our grenade guy. So I'm thinking if I give this to him, can he do one extra damage with his grenade? Because that'd be very cool. Let's give it to him. And we'll see if his grenades do extra stuff. Is it going to do 46? We got to check that. Now, I don't I can't really give him any more when it comes. Wait, are you, are you a scout level 4, Celtic? Could I level you? Evolve you into something interesting? I want you... What is this? Wood switch. Trustworthy level-headed with the truer understanding of life than most goblins. Arranged healer. Eh. What about that thing? Oh, knight level 3 I need for this. Now, I don't, I don't want Celtic to be a wood witch. Um, he's just gonna remain the grenade guy because that's what he does best. 
So I'm gonna teach him some healing on on a song, because why not? So he can just heal up if, if needed. Uh, Xamex, you don't have extra points. I don't have extra points. Artemis, you girl could evolve. But I'm gonna wait till she gets to level 4 and I'm gonna make her the witch, because I think that could be fun. So in the meantime, learn how to throw grenades, girl. And I'm just gonna turn off the short boy instead of give her two grenades and one healing. She can do. Let's go right over here. I'm having lots of fun with this. I like how you can kind of think through the evolving. Oh, four of them with some very interesting equipment. See if we can take it from them later. All right, Celtic, off you go. Amex. Artem is now also a grenade kind of girl. She could grenade uh, these two if they get there. Yeah, these two could grenade. And this one... Who's eating me? It's just like, I can see that you're the leader. Hmm, if I step to... Here. I don't know if I can hit them both. I could, however, try. This grenade... Yeah, I can hit them both great. So yeah, so we get 46 now because of the pendant that he has. So that's quite nice. Uh, let's make him face that way. You need to move to here and kill off this guy. Protect your friend from damage. <laughs> Did I make rainfall with the slam? That looked kind of cool. <laughs> like with the power of the rain. Oh, I could hit these two. I can't really kill this guy. Can I kill him with the line shot? With the lance? Not even then. But it does more damage, so if I could move myself to here, is the lance gonna work? Uh, no. Oh, well, let's shoot this guy then. Oh wait, that, that might be a problem. I might have uh, caused myself to die here. Unless... First of all, Artemis needs to move in front of me to protect me with her life, essentially. Because I'm hit once, and you can only get hit twice. And we're gonna kill one of these. Okay, so we should be... Okay, they're running away. But they could have uh, killed one of mine, but probably not all of them. Okay, Xamex is a knight level 3, so I'm gonna upgrade him to, to an even better knight, I think. And Artem is not quite uh, strong enough to be... Thank you for freeing me, I'm, I'm so tired, but I can't stay here. Okay, you're welcome, buddy. Will you, can I trust you? Are you good? Spirit, well, it doesn't matter, really. His name is Dragon Man? Come on, join in. Are you really just level 1 dragon? Or are you, like, better? Yeah, he just starts with the basics. So I'm gonna leave him with the short ball. Now, I want Xemex to upgrade. I need you... No, not, not here. Xemex, I need you to evolve, okay? I need you to be... Ooh, spell sword. Hot, blooded, and decisive. Natural fighter with broad affinity for two elements. This breed has a tendency to bite off more than they can chew. Weather worker. Oh my god, and a quick step. Plus speed on sea and land. Or he can be battle mage. Oh, Battle Mage. Defensive and versatile male mage with high health, healing spells, and terrain manipulation. But I don't really care for healing spells, that's the thing. I already have a- I'm gonna have a special healer. I don't need Xemex to be a healer. I'm gonna make him this. Spell Sword. Let's go. <laughs> he looks so cute now. <laughs> he turned from this to this, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry about that. Let's see what kind of abilities he, he has now. Ooh, Breaker. 40 damage creates water. Line to cross effect shape. Moose caster to target location. So you can teleport, deal damage, and make water. But this is not from a close range. That's gonna be difficult. Bedlam. Range 50 damage, square effect shape. Okay, how take the modifier stones? Yeah, bye-bye, uh, Breaker. Hello, Bedlam. Or a sandblast. Range 2 to 2. 
Line effect no, I kinda wanna go with the bad lime. I like it. I like it. We're gonna have to test this out. Now can I upgrade myself? Yes, I can. I'm, I'm just gonna evolve too, even though I like what I have. Is there like any any better thing? Oh, I could be this. What is this? Wizard. Little rounded mage with mild affinity for the flame, tends towards snark. I'm gonna take it. J just for the fun of it. I, I wanna <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you look now. <laughs> like, I used to be an archer, now I'm a wizard. No, not not equipped. I want I want to train. Bro, do you study damage line effect shape? So it's slightly worse than the archer thing we had. River, thirty five damage creates water. This is pretty good range though. But this is line effect, so that's what a spark ignites plants. Meteor, 25 damage, cross effect, shape, knockback. So it pushes them back. They don't really care for shocking touch. Yeah, definitely not. Whirlwind, pull. Flare. Ah! Uh, I'm deciding between the meteor and the furrow. I think I'll leave the, with the furrow. Alright, anybody else needs anything? Artemis, just find the way she is. Because she can't be the thing just yet. This guy's just an archer. Celtic is perfect. Alright, we're going to do one more fight. I and mean, maybe we'll do more, but probably in a different episode. Right now, we'll just continue. Let's go over here. Probably go to the world stone, because that's the story continuing. But That's a lot of people. Let's go over here. So, okay. so I just want to test out my magic skills. And Xemex's thing... So makes this bad lime. <laughs> oh, such a funny name. Uh, Celtic, uh, whew, go over here. No, you know, you need to go there so you can use your grenades. Really. Xemex, you move here and do the bad lime, I guess. I'm gonna move next to Xemex and, and use my witchery. <laughs> Artemis will go next to Sealtech because she also has grenades and Dragon. Dragon doesn't need to go anywhere, it's just like, it's just like. I guess I'm gonna stand behind? Like, what, what, what is that? How am I supposed to fight you when you're standing 200 meters away from me? How oh, dare you. Alright, Celtic's gonna have to go up close then. Go there. Throw the grenade. If it, yeah. At all of them. As always, because that's what he does. I'm gonna need to kill at least one of them though, otherwise he might die. If they die, by the way, they, they revive themselves again, so it's really not that big of a deal. But uh, they do not get XP for that particular combo. Let's do Badlam. I can only hit one, but I can unnerve him. Ooh, that was cool. Did you see the way it went up? That was so cool. That was great. Okay, I need to move. Can I move next to Xamex and try my... What do I do? I do a furrow. Let's, um... Do a furrow on them all. Oh, I can kill one of them. That's nice. Ooh, that was an interesting ability too. And I made them fall in the terrain. They're like, no, they're manipulating the crowd. We gotta run, run for your life. Oh, this is really good. No, no, Wizard 2, Xemex is a spell sword too. Artemis can finally become a witch. Why is Celtic not getting more XP? I don't know. I guess you already took it. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end this episode here if we enjoyed it. And you can click on the right top to watch me play. Dead Mark, or you can click on the right bottom to watch. Fantastic Channel 2. I'll see you in one of those. Bye bye.